Let's look at a few of the best cloud computing stocks. When looking for the top cloud computing stocks to buy, investors should look at old growth as well as new growth stocks. Microsoft A dominant tech titan, it has built out a formidable cloud computing unit, helping to drive shares to new highs. Snowflake Although its stock price has been volatile, it's a strong growth candidate for years to come. DigitalOcean Having recently reported a disappointing outlook, this stock is the group's reasonable high-risk, high-reward selection. Let's dive in. Here are the three cloud computing stocks you'll regret not buying soon. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Roughly 10 years ago, cloud computing was the hot trend and term of the investment community, much like AI stocks today. Only it wasn't a flash in the pan. Cloud technology has paved the way for giant gains over the last decade. For good reason, it still has investors looking for the top cloud computing stocks to buy today. Here's an example. The difference between Amazon and many other e-commerce platforms is that the company has a robust cloud business to take into account. Amazon Web Services generates an enormous amount of revenue and profit for the company. And while it's an undeniable e-commerce titan, its cloud unit allowed it more flexibility in other areas of its overall business and lent to enormous gains in its share price. The same could be said for countless other tech giants as well. The market is going through a bit of turbulence, down 5 out of 6 days so far in August, but that shouldn't stop investors from looking at the leading cloud stocks. Number 1. Microsoft Microsoft has become stock market royalty, boasting the second-largest market capitalization in the world with a $2.41 trillion valuation. Lagging only Apple in market cap, Microsoft has built upon its legacy within the tech space. However, it hasn't always been an easy ride for the stock or its longtime investors. While Microsoft saw an enormous run-up during the dot-com bust, thanks in part to its dominant software, the stock actually topped out in 1999 and didn't surpass that high again until 2016. Even the stock's 2001 peak held firm for more than a dozen years before being eclipsed in late 2013. When Microsoft finally got out of its funk, it needed a catalyst, and that catalyst was the cloud. While the company flexes its balance sheet muscles and many excellent revenue streams, its cloud growth has been atop the list when it comes to investors' focus. Now that it's down more than 10% from its 2023 high, investors are wondering if this name will become a buy-the-dip candidate. The easy answer is yes, but the harder question is when. Number 2. Snowflake Snowflake is a peculiar case given that the stock has been incredibly volatile lately. Notably, it has been struggling with the $190 area and has now pulled back roughly 20% from this zone. Back in late May, the firm reported earnings and despite beating on earnings and revenue expectations, investors were unimpressed with the guidance. As a result, Snowflake stock suffered a one-day 16.5% decline. However, the stock quickly proved its doubters wrong, rallying almost 30% after stringing together a seven-day win streak. So which is it? a disappointment or a growth darling. There's no question that Snowflake has the growth to back up its reputation. Analysts expect annual revenue growth in excess of 30% in each of the next four years. That's alongside a pivot to profitability. While the stock commands a high valuation, it is still much lower than it was a few years ago. Even if the stock market has another couple of shakeouts left, potentially putting the dollar 120s back in play, Snowflake seems like an excellent long-term winner. Number 3. DigitalOcean DigitalOcean feels a bit more like a wild card at the moment. While the stock had been performing quite well recently, up almost 40% from its late June low to its mid-July high, the stock's post-earnings performance has been a drag. Shares suffered a one-day 24.8% decline on Friday, August 4, after the firm reported its quarterly results. The problem? Revenue guidance missed consensus expectations for next quarter and the full year. On the plus side, management remains focused on turning to profitability and expanding its margins, which continues to come to fruition. That said, DigitalOcean is a high-growth stock and thus remains in a volatile state. The market has been punishing these names when the earnings disappoint, and that's the simple case with DigitalOcean stock right now. That said, it has a lot of long-term potential if it can continue to churn out double-digit revenue growth and improve its bottom line. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.